with the alien. I guess if that alerted the alien, it would you it would presumably alert the alien to that room down there, where the noise happened, and not me. Surprisingly, no motion from the alien. Weird. Right, it's granted. Okay, cool. I think we can wake up the alien now. I mean, the uh, android. Let's see the other doors. That one's closed, but I might be able to hack it. Uh, that might open the door to the warehouse, yeah. Give that a shot. We have a level 2 tuner now. Here we go. So level 2 tuners have one more page of stuff on them now. Or one more, uh, one more extra glyph to figure out in time. No vent in here either? Cool. It feels nice, because that means that the number of ways the alien can even approach me is limited. That's the door just closing behind me, right? Yep. I see you there. <laughs> I'll go under the table for me, for you. Nothing will stop me. What do you have? Do you open doors? Requisitions Android. Spedding, now you've, uh, now you've fired me. Oh. Oh, they got fired. Oh, Smythe got fired. Oops. Smythe, Smythe got fired probably for lacking, uh, failing to, sh to reduce costs properly. Spedding. Now that you've fired me, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower and pick up the slack. The guys decommissioning Sebastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need logging. So use requisitions and the, re the requisitions android. Power him up, let him out of his box, and watch him go. Just like me, huh? Oh, he's bitter. By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. I guess you already know this, but it's been a pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me, Smythe. Well, at least things worked out for him in the end, except for the part where he's probably been- he's probably dead now. Because it seems like everything- seems like it went badly for a lot of people. <laughs> elevator out. Just got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the Android Examination Theater. My guys have got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixing- It's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. If Spedding wants to be a pri- it's be a pri- if Spedding wants it to be a priority- no, if spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe you should stop being a petulant asshole. Okay. It's, a, uh, It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need are in component storage. Uh, row 1 stack B. Oh, there we go. That's important information. So, row 1 stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requ requisitions android. Just get off my back, chief. Alright, that's important information about our exact objective. Last bitters. Smythe, it's Spedding. You knew full well that these guys were the last bitters for Sebastopol's Apollo system. And you totally fucked the Android presentation. They're not interested. So no bonus from me, no half share for you, and God only knows what it means for the suits upstairs. That's got me pissed. But you know what's getting me even more pissed? I have to stay on Sebastopol to oversee the synthetic shutdown while you go home. Don't have nightmares on the trip back, jackass. Oh. It's hard to say what the timing of this was, of course, because some people were leaving and some people weren't at various times, and it's hard it's hard to know if this was during the shutdown or not, or if it was way earlier. But uh yeah, if uh if this was early enough in the timeline, then Smythe may have actually managed to go home and actually be safe from everything that happened. Presumably at some point it was safe for people to leave, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that the people who were all supposed to leave when this place was closing down might have not successfully left, and it might they might have all been stuck here during close down and, and when everything went bad. But, uh, before then, they presumably could get on and off here just fine. Otherwise, what the hell, like, was this a prison colony? It's weirding me out how quiet the motion tracker's been today. Oh. 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 That room is filled with poison gas? That's a thing in this game? What do I do with poison gas in this game? Oh, shit. Interesting. Is there a ventilation trick I can do? Or do I, like... If I could craft a Molotov, it might burn all the poison gas. The problem is it also might get me murdered. 
Also, I don't have the ethanol for it right now. Yeah, if I could... Oh, a flare. You know what? I just saved a moment ago. In fact, I can even save right now to really add on to that. Let's do some good old-fashioned experimentation and, and find out if this uh, poisonous gas is flammable. And then find out whether or not that will immediately get me murdered by the alien. Yay! After all, we have flares everywhere. What? No. Oh, God damn it! I wanted to throw- oh. Hold R to... There we go. Got a little mixed up. It's not flammable. And there goes two flares. Don't feel too bad, though. There's flares all around. I found at least two just lying around, I think. But no, it does not... Fire does not clear it. I could be wrong, but I think a flare would cause the same effect as a Molotov as far as igniting a poison. Uh, if something's flammable, I think they'd both get ignited by... Like, I think a flare would work as well as a uh, Molotov. I don't think it has to be... Molotov. I think, I think flares are chemical fires, while Molotovs are... I think they're different forms of fires in one way or another, but I don't think the difference matters for the sake of stuff being ignitable. We're still quiet. Let's get down there and visit our android friend while this room glows weirdly red for a while. Am I crouching or not? Oh, I was crouching, sorry. I was on top of that hump and I felt so tall. I felt invincible. We're keeping quiet today? Alright. Alrighty. That's fine. Just makes it easier for me to get around and not... I heard that sound. But yeah, the longer the alien stays put, the longer we go without me having to hide in the locker for ten minutes. Now play nice. I'm a little worried about that noise. I'm gonna go hide in the shadows for a bit, just in case. I need a compression cylinder. Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? Alright, let's do it. I believe you. Yeah, so he also knows where it, where, it, where it is. Oh. Can he open the door is the question? I thought it was going to be in here. That's like, isn't that stack B? Those things are called B. And they have rows. Can you open it? Yay! Is my android about to get murdered by an alien? I don't give a shit if he's standing. I'm crouching. Forever. Oh no. Buddy, no, don't stop, stop. No, no, no. That's not good. Ah. Well, it was nice knowing you. Uh, the good news is I am in. Now I know where to go. Row one stack B, as he said. The bad news is he dead. He, uh, at the very least, would have been a nice distraction for the alien, especially since, uh, they don't die the same way as humans. It takes a little bit more effort for an alien to kill one of them. Although he poses just as little zero threat to one. So these go all the way down. Okay. That's our way around the lightning. Turns out androids were not programmed with the electric slide. I'm an idiot, and you're listening to me talk. Congratulations. Nothing? Clear? So he said row one. Is this row one? Oh yeah, because he said it was across the room. There we are. That's it, we just put that in the elevator and we're good to go. Ta-da! Huh. That came together nicely. Uh... I might go back into synthetic storage or go upstairs just to visit a save point on my way out. 
Because we just did all this. Is he here? The constant tension is you don't know when you see a motion tracker whether he is in the room or if he's in a vent. He's been nearby this entire goddamn mission. Just waiting for me to slip up and make one noise. I'd prefer to not, if I can avoid it. I'd prefer to not. Yeah, I think I'll pop upstairs real quick. It's a shorter distance, I think. They see me saving. Boom! He Murder right now. Right? No? There may be a secret on how to get rid of the poison. Or a secret on how to serve, like, put a mask on or something. Uh... I think I'm just gonna try to finish the mission. So our goal is just to get to the end of the hallway without getting murdered by the alien midway through. This is where it'd be really nice to have all those humans still around. So they could, uh... Distract it. That was a bad sound, wasn't it? No? That's just the door. Okay. I thought the alien was going to come down at that exact moment. Or was already waiting for me downstairs. It's too bad this entire damn building has a... Uh, has a whole bunch of uh, doors that open for the alien. Don't suppose any humans are left. What if I just ran for it? Fuck you, level! LOLS! LOLS! Did that really work? What? What? No alien? Whoa! I never s- <laughs> He never- he never stalked me once the entire level. That's freaking me out, man. Uh-oh. Well, it's a good thing I saved, because the mission's not over, apparently. Now where are we going? Um... Hello, additional save point. I saw the big open area, I'm like, well... It takes a while for the alien to fall out of the vent and do his animation of going, Wookie, spooky, spooky, I'm gonna get you. So I figured maybe I could run across the room fast enough to avoid the problem. Apparently I kind of did. But how much level is left? Whoa. It's Mappy! It's an entire room of Mappies! Oh. Humans. You know what, I liked this room when it was just Mappies. Not oh, shit. Uh, you guys saw that too, right? So, we, 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 there's a lot of things going on here. We have the weird mappies on tracks going around. We have clearly some humanoid silhouettes. I don't know if they're humans or if they're androids from here. And just to top it off, we saw an alien fall from the ceiling down into the below area. And there's a vent behind me, just to seal the deal on how in danger I might be. Uh... And since they're humans, they probably shoot me on sight. Well, the left side's totally open. The good news is I just saved, so if I screw up, at least I don't die immediately. Let's see, this, yeah, this thing kind of blocks my path. Whereas the left side was like a straightaway that was gonna get me killed. Module selector, can I use that? 
No. Did somebody just shoot at me? Was that an unrelated bang? Ah, uh, we'll just see if he spots me. I'm sneaking. No. Does this thing not do anything? Oh no. That's shooting. Oh look, a button. Looks like a rewire. Okay. She kind of left, which is good, but I think I'm in trouble here. What can I use you for? I hope she can't see me from here. I'll definitely turn off any cameras around and open up door access. Okay. I don't think they can see me from here. There's a wall in the way now. Weird how she like shot at nothing? I don't want to go up there, there's humans. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here. Oh shit. How did she not see me? We're playing on hard still, right? Am I crazy? Did I f forget what difficulty I'm on? Yep, that's hard. Wow. She was right the fuck in front of me is what she was. Okay, I need to distract her, so... But I don't want to use a noisemaker. I want to use a flare, I think. Will that work? Will she investigate that, or will she even notice that? Shit. I wasn't expecting her to be down here. Uh, can I see the next floor? No? <sighs> Objective is make your way through Seek Synthetics to find an alternate way back to the transit where you left Samuels and Taylor. So no specific information about where I'm trying to go. There's no waypoints on my screen. Oh shit. Oh shit. She didn't see me just now? What the actual fuck, man? Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. They were both there. <laughs> But also, I was really confused at first because I thought I thought she didn't I thought he didn't notice me. I was like, he seemed to run past me. I'm like, well that was weird. Alright. So they were downstairs. Which is slightly confusing. Cause they were So if you make some noise, they run they If you make some noise uh, downstairs, then they go upstairs. I mean, I mean, make some noise downstairs, they come downstairs, which might have been my chance to come. Oh, the alien killed that dude. I didn't see the animation the first time to see what he, they did exactly. Alright, so they were looking over here because the alien died. So if they look away... Will they ever look away or are they going to stay put right there forever? I don't know. They're just kind of standing there. If I threw a noisemaker at them, they'd probably die, but I don't know if that helps me or not with the alien situation, who is still around. Yeah, nothing's really moving right now. Can I, is there a way to hop downstairs? All these railings looks pretty complete. I don't think I, don't think I can hop over the railing, so... There'd have to be a gap if I want to fall down. There's no side vents. Okay. Best chance might be to throw a flare or a noisemaker at them. Well, the save point's right here. Not much to ri not much risk here. Oh, fuck me.
That wasn't even close to where I wanted that to go. That was an exercise in failure, is what that was. And I don't think they gave a shit. I don't think the alien gave us a shit. In fact, a noisemaker probably doesn't even make sense in the context of a giant machine room where all that happens is noise. So that was probably also a bad idea to top everything else off. They are weirdly persistent about standing right there after they just watched, presumably just watched their friend get murdered. You think that'd be enough reason to leave? God damn it, this is so open. Um, I guess the natural thing to do then at that point is a smoke bomb? If they don't, uh, where's it, where'd that just go? Where did that land? Okay. I genuinely can't tell. I must have landed downstairs somewhere. Well, that's we're having some interesting grenade physics today. Maybe it's the graded floor or my total lack of experience of throwing objects in this game because we've gone fairly far without it. Let's see here. Hello. How far until I get to the rewire station? Hello. I can actually reach, should reach you without getting caught? Did I only get caught because I went out in the open that one time? I mean, it all feels like it's the open is what's confusing to me. Like this, it feels like I'm in the open when I was coming up here, but they didn't spot me. So I presumably just unlocked access to that door right there, right? Yeah, and turned off the camera, but the camera was already freaking out when it saw the alien. That's why their alarm's still ongoing. They have not reacted to any of the things I've thrown so far, which is pretty funny to me. Ah, uh, they're reminiscing about how they can't remember sleeping and stuff like that. Really wish I could just reach out and be like, "Dude, I don't give a shit about you guys. We're just trying to. I'm just trying to walk through this area. Could you like not murder me, please?" Is that the sound of being detected? No? They're still there. This has got to be a bad dream. All right. So I didn't have to distract them because I could just walk up. I don't know how they didn't see me. What are they looking at if they're not looking at me? I say in the most narcissistic sentence, sentence possible. All right. I am now officially somewhere. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm progressing through hallways. I'll probably get somewhere. And they haven't shot me yet, which means that they're alien fodder for now. Until I mess that up. They seem rather stationary. Also, ow. There's a vent here. I hear the chime of a save point nearby. So we just went through there. Don't know where that vent's gonna take me, but I have no reason to try it right now, I don't think. That must be a very satiated alien. Maybe it captured that guy and then just decided to go take it back home to fill it with babies. Because, uh, no evidence of him nearby since. And these are exactly the types of creepy hallways where I expect to find the alien. This is the type of big open room that often has... Oop, hello. Nope. This is the type of room that often has both a save point and a blueprint in it somewhere. A little blasting cap. Totally silent, huh? Got one, one exposed computer. I see zero things that look like recipes in this room. There we go. Gotcha. Alright, let's visit our computer. I think this is just, I think this might be one of those slow tension building uh, chapters of the game that are just meant to make it constantly, you know, keep the alien off camera for a bit just to make you feel like it's, it's gonna come to make the other chapters where it shows up more effective. Synthetic engineer request. Can I get someone from Seeks and Synthetics to look at my android? I've just worked a 24-hour shift helping out with trauma patients, and I'm a, I'm the dentist. Waits wants every one of them moved out of the hospital, and no one is telling me anything. 
If I'm going to be pulling down these kinds of hours, I need some extra help. We've got an android down here with perfectly adequate programming, but he's been gathering dust because apparently the same model started acting up on the other side of the station. What the hell's going on with this place? Get someone down here now before I make an official complaint. Fernandez. Fernandez wants things to get done. Also, I accidentally exited out because I had not actually clicked on the email yet. There's nothing off in this computer. So they're, they're actually even talking about the idea of the android problems being in some way localized, as if they were them acting up and turning evil was only on one side of the station and not the other one, and maybe we're in the safe area right now. If the uh, local workers are anything to go by. Getting closer to that alarm. I might ha I might have to go into that, uh... Might have to go into... Oh, hello. Ooh. So here's the question. Is this when they're going to arbitrarily stop standing still? Because they've been standing still this whole goddamn mission so far. If they change their mind now, I'm going to be a little displeased. Where's my Molotov? There we go. We have one Molotov. Add that to the supply. It's an alien game and we have some fire. There's a vent there and a door over here for reception. That might be where I'm trying to go. Oh my god, they really are standing still. They didn't even react to the, si the sound of the door opening. How are they reminiscing and calmly going like, Oh, this place. I can't remember the last time I slept. Oh, what about the kids at home? And stuff like that. Well, like, I'm pretty sure their friend just got killed right in front of them. Did they not see that? I just assumed they saw that because they were walking over the vent where... They're watching over the vent where I saw someone get nabbed by the alien. Maybe, maybe none of the dialogue is contextual. Maybe it's all directly related to what's going on around it. Uh, maybe it's just random dialogue that people say instead. Hello, Lego Carpet. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, I will search you for ethanol. And you have quite a bit of it, don't you? Hello. Oh, we have low power, so I can't look at this computer. Unless there's a rewire in the room for me to add power. There might be. I'll take one look around this room, but I'm not going to go much further than that. No? I don't see a rewire in here. I think I'm just going to be happy to try to get the meds back. They're dying, yo. Oh, wait. I might be able to hack this. Nope, plasma torch required. Plasma torch? Don't have one of those. Is this the end of the level right here? Did I do it? Hey! Off to that Sky Med. Oh, Sci Med.